Hi friends. Welcome back. So, um, Sheila's still alive. Um, oh, wait. She's not dying. Anyway, so we're gonna make churros because I want churros. It's a really easy recipe and it's fun to do. So, we're gonna move over there and we're gonna get started. Ha, friends. Hey, buddy. Anyway. So we're, we turned it on. I'm gonna put it on medium. And we're gonna put a cup of oil, I meant water, into that. Two tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons. Two teaspoons. I have no idea. I can't remember. Salt. It all got stuck. Perfect. And we mix it and we have to get to boil. And then simmer for um, five minutes. Anyway, so I've only had churros like once or twice in my life. So good. Also, while I have your attention, I don't have a pipe bag. Plastic bag. I have to find scissors though. Joseph, where are the scissors? Scissors. Found them all by myself. So we cut the tip. These scissors suck, Joseph. See if I can do it. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's cover it on six. Perfect. Now we have a piping bag. Oh, I forgot about this. That's the wrong one. Okay, and we also have oil. I have a quart and like maybe a quarter of it. You need two quarts. I didn't read that though. So. And then you need to heat it up to 375. And then after this is this, we let it boil and then simmer for five minutes, which I already said. And then we add a cup of flour and we just stir it in all off of the heat. But, so we just kind of wait now. So, you guys like Shelby? She's so pretty. I'm gonna, I, I'm miss her already. Don't worry, Shelby. Nothing's gonna happen said the liar anyway nothing's happening i'll be right back when something's happening and i was wrong we we don't we don't simmer it we just take it off the heat just like that as it boils yep and now it's not boiling you guys missed it and then we're gonna get a cup of flour no I got it on me. I'm gonna get a cup of flour. That's not gonna work. Might as well boil it again with how long I'm taking. Oh. Anyway, we take it off of the heat and then we stir this in little by little. Until it forms a ball. This is the clumpiest flower I've ever been seen. Does that look like a ball to you?
Okay, guys. So we have the thingy. I don't think the oil is at the right temp yet, but that's fine. We're just gonna put this stuff inside of the bag half of the time because I don't want to get it on. Perfect. And half of the time. Oh, I'm struggling, baby. And watchers. Oh, guys, I don't think it's supposed to be this hard. Uh. Oh, bless me. I ate whipped cream like any normal person would. Oh, I did melt the bag. But just the top, it's fine. Okay. Oh, I did. I, yeah, I did put it on the heat. Oops. It's okay. It's not from what I thought it was, so that's what's important. Let's make sure that this system works. It works. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Now we're going to check that the oil is 375 with this thermometer. It goes so slow. It's really hot oil. Anyway, my church service was really good today. I'm fil I filmed this on a Sunday, by the way. Dude, this thermometer doesn't even go to 375. <laughs> Bro, oh well. We'll just have to make sure that it's at least over the top. There's nothing I could do there. <laughs> And I made an oopsie poopsies. <laughs> That's what my dad does. He just stares at you. Did you guys watch the new season of Loki? So good. So good. I kind of wish I had Loki's luscious hair. But I don't at the same time because I'm not a man. So. It's kind of conflicting. I don't think it's hot enough yet. It didn't pass what I wanted it to pass, and it only went to 200. So we're just gonna put that put on high and wait it out. We'll be right back. You guys, I'm trying. Oh, this is a new bag, by the way, because the other one broke. I'm just gonna. It punched me. We're gonna do one. Just so I can test the waters. It looks like a fry. You know this reminds me of the glory days at Red Lobster. I miss it. That face probably looked like I didn't, but I really do. Come on, watch with us. You love it, Shelby. Oh, it's brown! That is the smallest- <laughs> It is the smallest churro. It looks like a fry. We're gonna do a little bit longer. I need to set up a plate with napkins. Got to do that. Okay, I don't want to burn it now. It's burning. Okay, guys. So, mistake number one. I forgot my piping tips. So, all our churros are gonna be like bite-sized snacks, which is kind of fine by me, to be honest. But, if you're making this for a party or anything, get the correct size. It's a medium star shape. That is the correct size. I am going to find napkins. I will be right back. <laughs> Ah, it's falling out from the top.
I burnt some guys. <laughs> I tried to do too many at once and it didn't work. That's why Joseph will eat them. They look like turds. Like cat turds. Like like raccoon turds. Like a turd. Oh wait, let's not burn this one. Ah, oh, I already burnt it. Okay. Second problem. I suck at this. But that's okay. Guys, look at my churros. So we have the long poo. We have the burnt poo. We have the chunky poo. And we have the breast cancer awareness poo. And <laughs> honestly, this is so much fun. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ten, I burnt my hand though, so be careful if you do this. But seriously though, we should actually put the sugar on this and probably wrap the video up so I can eat my pizza. So what we do is we grab granulated sugar, cinnamon, mix it. Mm. So good, so good. And then take the breast cancer awareness. Oh, it looks like a churro, but it just oddly deformed one. Don't break it. They just need to be thicker. But other than that, it tastes like a churro. Which is the goal. <laughs> Let's try chunky. fat ones it felt like it cooked on the outside but not the inside which obviously means that that temp is way too high so the skinny ones are fine but not the fatties and let's try burp poop obviously looks less burnt when you put sugar on it So thank you guys for watching. This is all the churros that were left because um, when family decided that they wanted some, some was gone. And by some, I mean all. So that's all we have left. So that means that was a success. So you can trust that they're good. Good recipe. 10 out of 10. Anyway, uh, say hi to Shelby again. This will be the last time you see her probably. Who knows? Maybe I'll get another Shelby point too. But anyway, bye bye guys. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like it, then like the video. And if you like it more than that, subscribe. And if you guys want more content, hit the bell because I do upload twice a week. Bye guys. Guys, Shelby said that she had something to say. I'm sorry, I rushed it. She said bye-bye. <laughs>